welcome to another special interview with uh, two of my favorite athletes. We've spoken many a time this year, and each time we've spoken, they've raised the bar. They've raised the bar when we st spoke at the start of the year. The idea was we aim to be world number one. We aim to win a super thousand. We aim to do stuff for India. Now they are world number two. They have raised the bar. They have won a super thousand, and they are the ones to be hunted down. So Chirag, let me start with you now. The thing has changed. Now it is Satvik Chirag who set the bar. People will, every double spare will want to hunt you down and want to beat you guys. So how is that? I mean, how do you how do you sort of look at that? Because clearly the expectations have grown and people are now going to sort of, you guys are the benchmark in a sense for men's doubles. Thoughts? Uh, well, yeah, I think uh, like you said, uh, the, um, the year has been really good for us. Um, and we've been playing some really good badminton over the past couple of months. Um, yeah, uh, but uh, having said that, yeah, um, people have been uh, keeping an eye on us for the past couple of years. It's not that it's a new thing um, for us. Like it was just a matter of time before we actually became a lot more consistent uh, in the uh, circuit. Uh, but yeah, I'm, um, I think I don't really want to give too much importance to that because I think uh, people did uh, start looking at our game and reading about it almost uh, two, three, I think three, four years back itself. So I think our main aim is to actually play um, at our best rather than actually thinking about our opponent's game or anything. If we are able to play anywhere close to our best, then we are able to beat uh, any pair in the world. Okay. Okay. Satvik? You know, the, again, I mean, a question on this. So, for example, you know, when you win back-to-back -back tournaments, and you did, and almost went as deep as possible, even in the third, you know, when, when you play such sort of back-to-back -back matches, intense matches, long matches, how is it? And, and there is a kind of a newfound confidence. Do you think that that has changed you in you both as a pair? That now, even if it is a difficult situation, that confidence is there that we can turn this around. We can take a match from an adverse situation and go on and win. Is there a change, mentally at least, in the two of you that you can win from any situation? I think it's a more on mental thing. Uh, I've been practicing on that uh, for a long time. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, before we used to play one dorm and then it was, oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's more about mental thing now. It's uh, physically we know what to do and uh, we are more focusing on recovery things. But uh, it's more on mental thing how badly you want to, to win. And definitely after winning uh, one tournament, you'll get a lot of confidence. People will be scared to play with you. But uh, again, uh, fresh day, like we are playing five days uh, continuously then again we have only one day break then again we are starting again to the next tournament it's really difficult to play long matches continuously it's almost like in korea open we played five five matches till sunday then we had a travel day then monday we are back in japan tuesday we had only one day rest then wednesday we had a tough match we played three games with indonesians so it's it's not gonna be easy when you're playing back to back and it's more about mental thing how motivated you are, how hungry you are after winning one tournament, you are satisfied or you wanted to do well in the next tournament. So it's all uh, uh, depends on uh, mental thing and yeah, for the upcoming China Asian Games, uh, we already know before one year only schedule will be like this. So we are mentally prepared for that also. Like if you are playing back to back uh, and we know these three. So, Chirag, you know, and, and we, you and I have had this conversation before. In India, we move from multidiscipline events to multidiscipline events. But as players uh, or as analysts who follow the sport closely, we will say a world championship is perhaps more important than an Asian Games. But the common man on the street will say an Asian Games medal is more important. How do you balance that? Because clearly, uh, that's, a, that's a huge reality in India. Ask anybody, he'll say, boss, Asian Games gold, Asian Games medal. But I'll say, okay, but you know, an Indian double player has never won a world championship uh, uh, gold medal, for example. Only you guys last year, uh, that, that first medal in, in, in doubles. How do you balance that? Because the ground reality in India and as players, there is a bit of a disconnect there. Chirag? 
um well yeah definitely like you said uh, um i think uh, uh, like a, a lot of the people don't, don't really know about uh, the uh, like world championship probably is as big as the asian games in uh, in my opinion um like to be called the world champion i think it is uh, as good as uh, it's it's like the uh, it, it's like the olympics i feel uh, and um, it's extremely important to um, for us as a pair i think to um to win medals at these events like the world championships the asian games the olympics and uh, like i said it's a sad sad reality but it's that's how it is uh you might be winning thousands of super series events but if you have a medal at the olympics the asian games and the world championships also for that matter commonwealth games uh, it's given much more importance and i think uh, as as uh, as a pair also we are uh, going for these uh, big events and um, um like uh, yeah winning a super series is important but i feel winning medals at these big events is uh, i think uh, what we are aiming for so as a follow up satvik i mean when i see see your matches and we've seen uh, all of the matches closely is there is there any particular area that you all when you practice for example that you all are working on because you clearly have a complete game you guys can attack well you guys now defend extremely well physically you are strong physically you are fitter you have a complete game but is there anything in particular that the two of you are working on that okay that is that 1% or half a percent that we need to get better satvik uh i think uh yeah now like uh, we are a little bit better in defense but i think uh we can be much much better in the defense as like I, i i would say like if we are in attack position our chances are like 90% will get a point so we have that confidence that we will take point when we are in attack but in defense it's like still like i would say 50 50 or 40 60% like we are just retrieving but uh, we are not that much strong enough to convert into that attack how koreans do that so they they don't panic when it's 19 all 20 all when they need when they need to lift they will lift still like when we are playing 100% on that day we will do all the things but if things are not going well if we have any plan b then what is the option so we are working on that plan b as well. mm. so always we are good in plan a on the given day when we move when we are fit mentally plan a is that when we uh, when you are fast on court when you are getting all the schedules it's our day then it's good when it's not our day then what what what, what is the answer from our side so we are uh, we are preparing for that as well i mean okay. we are practicing that as well we are uh, we are doing lot of different things so it's it's not a uh, it's it's a whole package but still like we need to do it every day it's not like we we know how to smash we just leave it so we practice every day that also to get it sharp more more angles more things so more ideas when you are playing good so so practice a lot of things on the realistic uh, how in tournament we get situation so yeah i've been practicing that from long time more importantly i mean on court you guys are a, an absolute absolute champ you know all of india is proud keep going yeah keep going i mean don't think about all this grand sham that's our job we'll keep building you guys create hype put pressure say olympics say world championship and go bad ask for time keep bugging that is our job as media but for you you guys just that badminton court is your temple you have taken that over and you've made all of india 1.3 billion proud we don't have champions unfortunately in india you guys are so just keep retaining that dominate the the badminton world like a roger federer or a novak djokovic or a lin dan that's the ambition do that because that's what india has never got never got once we have you guys do that that's where i think the real real satvik and chirag legacy can be created and thank you very much for joining me real pleasure and i will obviously see you guys physically in china my entire team will be there so we will definitely catch up then and maybe some chicken for for satvik and we'll have some sushi together chirag <laughs>